out of breath. Welcome back to my channel. So, I literally just got off work. And, baby, I am so out of breath. It's unbelievable. Alright, now that we got that on. Um, I literally just got off work. And we are, I hate this thing bouncing up and down like that, but we are on our way to school. I have lab tonight from 6 to 10, but I got to drive like an hour and a half to get to class. Plus, I need to stop and give myself some knee. Okay, so maybe it's not an hour and a half. Um, but it's gonna take me like an hour. Then I gotta get something to eat, and then I gotta eat. So with all that being said, I might be done by like 5:40. And I gotta put my shirt on, my scrub shirt on, to be ready for class. So I just got off work, um, and as y'all can see, I am so out of breath. Um, hold on, guys. All right, that's so much better. I had to, I had to get y'all off the. Ooh, what is we doing? Come on, Amherst, get y'all life together. I had to get y'all off the window one, the window tripod, because y'all bouncing up and down. I don't like that. Mm -mm. I don't like trying to reach for it and hold y'all either. I need to get me a better tripod for the window. This is what I got. Just be doing, you know, as Elephant Man goes, Willy Bones, Willy Bones. Everybody feel you do the Willy Bones. I don't like that. So, I just passed the popo. So, I was saying I had just got off work and I had to carry my books two big ass books right here as y'all can see there's two of them they heavy they about they feel like they 100 pounds each but they really not um and then i had to climb up two flights of stairs well i had to walk from my little dungeon office walk up two flights of stairs and luckily, I moved my car next to the landing of the stairs because, baby, I was not walking all the way over nowhere else. One of these days, I'm going to have to give me a car, like a call to me and be like, hey, hey come here. I'm going to need you to park right here while I load up because all this walking stuff is for the birds. But that's neither here nor there. That's just because I'm out of shape. I stopped going to the gym. But I have good reasoning. I don't got time between school and work. I am consumed. All I want to do is rest on the weekends. But I need to take my lazy ass to the gym. To be very honest with you. I don't even know why I just did that. That's nasty. But anyway. We are on our way to school. It's going to be a nice fun day. Because in lab today. We are supposed to do it last week. But... We did it. So I only go to lab once a week. The other three days, Monday, I only go to class four days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, I'm on Zoom for four hours, six to ten, the most boringest four hours of my life. Not that I just sit there. We get breaks and stuff, but we only get like, out of the whole four hours, we get a total of 40 minute break. One, first is a 10 minute break, the next one is a 20 minute break, the next one is a 10 minute break. And it's like every hour. So we only in class technically for three hours and 20 minutes, but that's still a very long time. I got ADHD, y'all. I can't be sitting there like that. Um, but we were supposed to do it last week. Teacher took four hours to go over our grades with us. So it was a very chill day. We got our work out the way and stuff like that. But today, um, we gonna be doing, um, we're going to be hooking each other up. Well, I don't know about the newbies, which is me and two other girls. I don't know if we're going to be doing it. But 
She said we're gonna be hooking each other up. Oh, that's my car. Don't listen to none of them noises. I swear I'm a good driver. Um, we gonna be hooking each other up to the EKG monitors, and that's like you know monitoring each other's hearts and stuff like that. That's gonna be really cool because we actually get to see how they work because. If y'all don't know, I go to school for medical assistant. And that's the type of stuff you're going to be doing as a medical assistant, especially when you're in a hospital. So, we learning. Um, and then the other times, we was doing like glucose monitoring and we learn how to wash your hands properly for like, there's protocol for when you work in a hospital, work in a doctor's office, the way you got to wash your hands and stuff. So, we learn how to do that. Um, we learn how to walk on crutches properly So we learn it little by little. This is my fourth week in this class though. So This is really like Interesting because this is the hardest class lab at EKG This is the hardest class out of my whole program and my program is nine months And I'm so ready to be over it. I'm so ready for it to be over but it's gonna be fulfilling at the end and my crazy self is already talking about, my crazy tail self is already talking about how I'm going to go get my BSM. Girl, you ain't even done with what you're doing now. And I'm already, like, preparing myself for something new. I'm already stressing myself out over something I ain't even started. I should be stressing myself over, stressing myself over what I'm doing right now. But, teach their own. I live stressing myself out. And my family out. Everybody else. People look at me crazy. But, I'm all about that shmoneys. You know and doing what I love healthcare is what I love I my dream job is an L&D NICU nurse like that is really what I want to do so I aspire to get there I aspire so right now as I was rambling and off not that y'all really cared about what I was talking about but I'm on my way I'm on a freeway stuck in traffic um gonna take me about a good hour 15 to get over to my school and then probably could find something to eat from there i really want some popeyes which is like 10 minutes from my school but we're gonna see i don't need none of this stuff that i'm thinking about eating it's all fattening but whatever i'm supposed to be at home eating keto i'm on a keto diet at home buying popeyes ain't that bad a bitch but i'm gonna see y'all when i get over there i need to focus on this road don't worry about my broken window. It's all traffic and stuff. We only move it at like six miles an hour. Y'all see that? Well, now it's nine. But it's what we looking right. So I'm gonna see y'all when I get over to that other side of town. Sugar, you know I'm not home, I'm I know y'all just saw all my nonsense going on. I promise you. I'm just bored in traffic because this traffic is 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 like making me want to rip my two braids out plus my eyelashes that's that's not that's not a good look not at all I'm going crazy but I came back to tell y'all that I got some good news and the good news is y'all ready I don't gotta stop and get myself something to eat <laughs> the food is ready at home the downside is I swear my grandmother did this on purpose because her and my aunt made the food together. They made like some keto chili. It's gonna be fire. But here's the part. Here's the downside. They everybody know. Everybody in the family know. I don't fuck with the bell peppers. I don't do them bell pepper shits. I don't do the yellow ones. I don't do the red ones. I don't do the green ones. I don't do none of them. Why did they put bell peppers in there? I'm telling you. My grandmother is conspiring against me. She's going to force me to like these bell peppers. Because I, I don't do them at all. I know you saw me getting over it. But I'm, I'm going to let you I'm gonna let you be. Um, and then you, you know, I'm about to say, you need to stay over. Um, yeah, they're going to force me to like these bell peppers. And it ain't going to happen. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't do them. And I can't even, like, pick them out. So I'm, I have to eat them. And I'm be at home eating, so I can't just like secretly take them out while I eat because she's gonna be sitting there probably watching me at the dinner table. So I'm not a happy camper right now that I gotta eat bell peppers. 
because I don't fucks with the bell peppers, but I'm gonna eat it because it's my grandma and she conspiring against me and she forcing me to like bell peppers. And I know she could do it love, so I'm gonna do it. But I'm gonna try and tell her about herself. Cause my aunt knew she, I don't like the bell peppers. That's why she told me. But yeah, I just wanna come back and tell y'all I don't gotta stop and get nothing to eat and then rant to y'all about my stupid bell pepper problem. But I'm halfway home. I think I'm only gonna be able to run inside and eat really, really quickly and then have to take off. So it's a good thing I wore my scrubs to work. Can we like not press the brakes so much? And I'm gonna need y'all to learn to like get in the back of the, the lane. Hope you're holding up traffic because y'all trying to get in the fast track lane when I wait front. But anyway. California people don't know how to drive. I swear they got their license out of Cracker Jack box because it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. But halfway home, I'm going to see y'all when I get home and I'm going to show y'all what this chili look like because it's going to be fire. It's going to look so fire. But not with the dope. All right, guys. See y'all in a bit. It's to say, get out right now. Seeing of you and me. And I wonder. However, all the lies said that you would treat me right, but you was just a waste of time. All right, I'm gonna interrupt again. I know I said every time I say I'm gonna come back to y'all when I get home, uh, this traffic is driving me nuts. And I drive this five days a week. So it shouldn't drive me that nuts, but I don't know. Today, people are just, I feel like people are just in traffic making sure their brakes work because they keep hitting these brake pedals like like brakes ain't expensive like every time they hit the brake we don't use a little power for the bank pad i don't know that's how i feel because the way these folk be driving i'm telling y'all california drivers is a mess they just don't know how to drive cracker jack box life Cracker Jack driver's license box. Cracker Jack box driver's license life. That was a whole tongue twister for me. But anyway, I came back to tell y'all that it's just a quick intermission. I swear I don't sound like Mumble from Happy Feet all the time. Okay, maybe I sound like Mumble 90% of the time. The other 10, I could hold a little note like Drake. I could harmonize a little bit. I may not sound like Whitney Houston. Or Mariah Carey or JoJo. But I could hold a little note like Drake and and carry it out just a little bit. Oh let me not even say I could be on Ariana Grande level because you know she be hitting them them whistle register. I can't do that. I'll mess around and pop a vocal cord. I can't be having that. That's starts to expensive at the same time. Um, I'm not about that life. Um, but, but what I can say is, I, I could hold a little note. I could hold a little note. If my life depended on it, I'd still be alive from holding the note. Okay. But anyway, I'm going to try and enjoy the rest of this traffic. So I'm really, really this time, really, really this time. I'm going to see y'all when I get home. I promise. I promise this time. I know promises are made to be broken. I don't like people promising nothing to me, but I'm going to promise to y'all that the next time y'all see me, I'm going to be at home fixing a bowl of chili. Or maybe it'll be served to me. It may be served to me. But whichever way, I'm going to have a bowl of chili. So I'm going to see y'all in a second. All right, I told y'all I was going to see y'all when I got home. <laughs> we just pulled up. I got like, oh, wait, why are we turning? Hold on. We was turning. I just got home though. I told y'all I was going to see y'all when I got home, but I got like 30 minutes before class starts. So guess who got a scarf some food down their throat? Me. Hola, ¿Dónde está mi tía? Salió a darle comer. Oh, the little faso. Fast. Look at her fat ass. Look at her fat ass. She's supposed to be eating. 
I'm not letting you in. No. Why you gotta do this to a poor dog? Good, that's what I do. You know she get tortured up in this household. But not legit torture, because we won't, won't, won't engage in dog abuse. But I got like 30 minutes before class start. Uh, I don't want to go. I got like 10 minutes so I can eat. No, I'm not a normal human being. Huh. I just pinched my finger. I pinched my finger. I pinched it. Oh, the camera's lopsided. There we go. Guess what I ordered? Oh my God. <laughs> I ordered me another pair of Crocs in my gibbets. I knew it. <laughs> what did you go with? Um, you're gonna call me a simp, but I got a W. I got an A. Got my Disney Stitch and my healthcare gibbets. So I got like a stethoscope. Like a yeah, it's like a pack of five. For the healthcare one, so I got that one, and then the other ones, and then another pair of Crocs that were on sale. They're marble. They're marble, white and red. You know what? I might as well just be on the softball team at this yes. point. <laughs> I might as well be at the softball team this at this point because everybody got white. White and red. I get, huh? Oh, I ain't, I'm not going with the glitter. Well, you need to stop on me, she is. I'll take her name back. God damn it. Um. Mm-hmm. So I'm ready. Now the last thing I gotta buy it's a little pads for my heels, for my balls and my feet. No, for the balls of my feet, for my heels. Oh, for your heels. Yeah, I haven't even practiced wearing them, so. Uh, do you not know the trick? Huh? Do you not know the trick? What? You wear dung spray. Oh yeah, you did tell me that. I forgot you told me that. Wear a numbing spray when you wear heels. You last all night. Taking my my cat. What is it called? Huh? What is it called? Light pink. Oh, light pink. Well, I'll be buying next. So I got two pairs of six. Well, three pairs of six inch heels. And I don't plan on only lasting two hours and seventy inch. I mean seventy dollar heels. Yeah, no. Apparently, it's six. Huh? Oh, six hours. Even better. Even better. I could walk out the house in them. Walk to the car. Walk in the restaurant. Walk to the restroom. Walk from the restroom to the restaurant. And back to the car. Walk in the house. Still be good. Just suffer the next morning when it start kicking in. Yeah. <laughs> Be watching. <laughs> Just saying. 
<laughs> Me walking like you walking on eggshells because it hurt. I got seven minutes before I gotta leave here. Ain't this my shit? Bell pepper. Huh? That's flavor. I just don't appreciate the bell peppers mm -hmm. in here. That was that. I kid you not. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. I was just so. That's it. It's like you make the shepherd back. You put it to the side. You cook. You put it to the side. You're supposed to save me here and put it to the no, side. Richard, you know, just put a little bowl to the side. Ain't nobody trying to save me in this house. Alright, we're done. It's time to go to class now. Let me see y'all in the car. All right. We really out of here now. Because it's time to go to class. Oh, no! Oh, I just rolled over the grass. Hopefully they don't catch that on camera. Security camera. Ooh, I put y'all on my dashboard. Y'all could just see the mess in my back seat. But I put y'all on my dashboard and look at God. I don't gotta hold the camera I'm on my tripod. Because listen, I bought this. And this is why y'all be bouncing up and down, up and down, up and down, doing a willy bounce. Because this thing is so not sturdy at all. Like, I don't understand. I really don't understand like but it was cool while I had it it was cool while it was sitting there but it also got in the way of my view for the course and stuff while I'm driving it was very it was giving very unsafe oh whatever y'all can still see me sir turn the corner jeez Oh, y'all almost tipped over. Look at me all praising the fact that I could put y'all in my window on a tripod on a dashboard and then y'all almost tipped over. I'm gonna need a better system. I'm gonna need a better system. Why are people flying down the street like this? This is very unsafe. Y'all are giving very unsafe. Y'all got ticket money, accident money. New car money. <laughs> but anyway, when I'm sitting here, though God knows what, that chili was good. I'm going to give it to them. I'm going to give it to my aunt and my grandma. But who told them to put bell peppers? I swear. My aunt, nobody, nobody saves me in this family when it comes to the vegetables like bell peppers that I don't, I don't, I don't mess with. They be doing me wrong and my grandma know what she be doing, I swear. Cause she know I don't like them. She know I don't. got lip gloss on top of my lip like above my lip above where it belongs it's much better it's much better view much better though y'all I'm not excited 
I mean, I'm excited, but I'm not excited. I also got to do this little campus screening thing so they know, like, it's this little thing. It's for the COVID symptoms. Make sure you're not coming back with COVID symptoms. You ain't been exposed to the last however many days. I am fully vaccinated. I've not had any of these symptoms in the last whatever day. No, I've never tested positive for the illness. No, I have not been in contact with anyone with the previous symptoms. Get my results. Look at me. I can enter class. I'm kind of sad because I didn't want to go to class today. But it's okay. It's okay. Because I'm off tomorrow. We got a long day tomorrow too. So. But I know. See, I was on... Um, this is what I wanted to say. I'm just rambling. I don't know which direction I'm. I don't know whether I'm coming or going, to be honest. I don't know where all this burst of energy came from because at work, I was dead tired. I guess it's just work. Work make you tired. Having to sit there in front of a computer and listen to people complain all day, it's kind of tiring. And I also was doing homework for like five hours. And I finally decided I'm done. So from like eight o'clock to about one, I'm gonna throw out an odd number like 117 because that's honestly around the time that I looked at my clock. I was doing homework, I was looking at two textbooks, these big old textbooks. I call it my medical Bible and my medical devotion book. My auntie called it my bank account because my bank account gonna be looking right when I'm done, but anyway. Um, so I know y'all heard me when I was talking to my auntie when I said I was in a W for my crock gibbets. And she just like looked at me and shook her head. So that W is for the special person in my life. And I'm gonna talk to y'all about that. I'm gonna tell y'all though, in advance, that God works in God works in mysterious ways. And he works in the divine purpose of your life. What's for you will be for you, and it will never come when it's not supposed to it would always come it will always come at the right time god works in mysterious ways and he only works in the divine pleasure of your life he won't give you more than you can handle and he will add to your life when it's right and that's all i'm gonna say right there um i just got to class i am i'm early I got to in like five minutes. I don't got to do nothing. All I got to do is put my shirt on. Make sure I got it back there. Because Lord knows. I don't remember putting it in the car this morning. I don't even think we need our textbooks today. I don't know if we need. That's the wrong court. I don't think we need I don't know if she said we need our textbooks today but I don't know if we need our blood pressure cuff and stuff today either today Wednesday today is Wednesday I wonder why it's so empty but everybody get here later than me they get here like right when we supposed to be going into class I don't even know why I put on lip gloss knowing I gotta put on this stupid mask to go in class. I had to order some more of these. Well, I don't have to. My teacher, my instructor, she don't care, but the directors and stuff be coming in our class and then telling us we gotta put them on. So I just put it around my ears. But I'm gonna chill here. Actually. I got about three more minutes before I gotta walk in. So let me put my shirt on. My camera overheated and shut off on me. But I was wondering where my other battery was and it's right here. So. There's my other one in my cup holder because I took one out of my camera this morning when I was, um. I know you not overheating, camera. Do not do this. Be nice. 
I need you to behave yourself. There's a little icon on my viewfinder saying my camera overheating. But you want an air conditioner, boo. Keep my sweater on because last time it was cold. got too many clothes on hopefully I don't got to do the EKG that's what I'm hoping I don't have to do I'll be very sad <sighs> oh, my classmates just pulled up She's been dealing with us all week. Uh, she's like, I don't get paid for that. She said, I don't get paid enough to deal with these grown ass children. <laughs> these baby grown ups. You know, it gotta be bad being a teacher for some adult kids. <laughs> it gotta be, because I know I wouldn't do it. I'm taking this. If I don't gotta wear this. Oh, I hope my nigga didn't leave. He pulling off. You better grab him. <laughs> Oh, the way she took off. Miss Bravo said she don't want to deal with us today. She don't want nothing to do with us. I care about that little thing go fast. It's lower one. My little that. bucket. Huh, when I, I had it. I don't care about little I care go fast. I got I was little. on the freeway racing in the county the other day. She's trying to die. Huh? Brianna's trying to die. Huh? She trying to die a premature death. So like if this. you put it, I could see the same thing, but it'll still be here. You can do it. <laughs> she said, smile. Smile for me, daddy. Smile for me, baby. Oh, okay. Listen, I don't, I don't like doing all this. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Wait, did she say bring textbooks today? Cause I didn't bring them. They in the car. I left mine. Oh, mine in the car. I lug them back and forth from the car to the house to the J-O-B. Yeah. Hi, Miss Bravo. Hello, how are you guys? I'm, I'm surviving, you know. I need a nap. <laughs> look, look, this place is not like your house where you have to come with a hoodie and all that stuff. It's really hot in here. It's hot in here. Last time it was cold. Really? Yes. I was shivering. I was shivering me timbers. I was shivering me timbers. I, I was shivering. I shivered my little boots off. In here? Yes, in here. I mean, she we, said that's why I wear out this sleeve. I mean, you said we was getting not naked, but naked today, so I came with my layers. Uh, you have to take them off. <laughs> we don't gotta take our pants off. At least we have a bra on. We have this. At least you have a bra. On. I mean, I can't, I can't go around with no bra. These jugs ain't ain't built like that. And these jugs. Are ain't built like that either that's why i don't have to wear see one. you lucky you lucky the day the day in the afternoon class uh they the instructor makes them take their bra oh shit i remember you didn't even get right in wait she makes them take it off it's because i'm wearing a strapless shirt underneath so wait I'm she said off. take it off take it off no yeah. see she makes them take it off the bra. why why yeah why not that's even in the hospital they do that Sometimes that's just the way that she makes them do it. I was in her lab two weeks ago, and they were doing EKGs, and I was like, "Can you even take the bra?" And she's like, "Yeah." And I was like, "Why?" And she's like, "Oh, it's better that way." And I was like, "The morning teacher, huh?" Uh huh. Yeah. It's better that way. We're. I'm not gonna make you guys take the bra. I don't. If you guys want to, that's on you. I don't really care. So all we have to do is take our shirt off. Yeah. Just well, down. To, just, yeah. You just little, just down to the bra. Yeah. Because you okay. can get a little. Uh, that that works. That works for me. I, can, I can't have my jugs falling left to right. Just, yeah. just, they hang to the left and to the right. They just don't go perfect. They, just, they don't loop. sit up like that. They, <laughs> they sit. Loop, loop. I got my, my health care shoes on. Your croc stompers. My lemon pepper steppers. I did not remember. <laughs> 
Lemon pepper steppers. Get some for the only pet. You're making money off this, you better share it. <laughs> share the wealth. Spread the wealth. Okay, but what do you do first? You know what I do first. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Um, before you even walk into the room, but when you first walk into the room, what are you going to do? Okay, cool. well, when I first walk into the room, usually I'm the one taking them into the room. Okay. So then um, I let them know that I'm going to do an EKG on them when I'll be back. And then I give them um, a chucks. And then I let them know, go ahead and remove your top. Just the... Um, undress from the waist up and then you can go ahead and put this on <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll be back in five minutes okay Perfect. and then so I leave and then I'm back when I feel like they're probably done dressing you always knock before opening the door you don't just come in and just open the door and then she's naked so um, and then I come in I'm like okay are you ready we're gonna go ahead and perform an EKG okay but at what point are you gonna wash your hands well, I wash my hands. We wash our hands at the MA station when we're setting okay. up. The, in our station, we have our computer and all our EKG stuff, and this is where we always wash our station. We don't usually wash our hands when we come into the room. Oh, you don't with the patient. You don't have a sink in the room. We do, oh, but okay. we don't. We don't really ever wash our hands there. We wash them at the MA station before coming into the room. Okay, get procedure. into the habit of washing your hands in the patient's room, because especially Her? right yeah. now with COVID times. The patients don't want you, they don't know if you washed your hands out in the nurse's station. They don't know. There's always going to be a sink in the patient's room? For the most part, every room has a has a sink in there. So make sure that you wash your hands in front of the patient so they see you washing your hands. Do you ever wear gloves doing EKGs? Um, yeah, we do. Some people do, some people don't. Yeah, I don't. Necessary. I don't because the electrodes stick to your gloves and it's so hard to get them off your gloves. But that's why you wash your hands while you're in the room with the patient. So they can kind of see you washing your hands and then you go ahead and you introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Sandra. I'm going to be doing this EKG on you. Usually I'll ask them, have you ever had an EKG done before? And they would say either yes or no. So if they're kind of familiar with the procedure, then they're not so apprehensive. Um, they'll kind of just relax. Um, some people are very nervous people. They have high anxiety. So they'll be just, you know, so you got to try to calm them down, reassure them that it doesn't hurt. It's not painful. Make sure that they're not crossing their legs. <laughs> okay, so where what what did you feel for? Did you feel for anything in particular? Yes. So you're feeling for the intercostal. You're going to be at the fifth. So she's thin. You can feel her. Your boobs are going to be bones, in there. right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what if somebody was that like it's me? Not can you feel it? Probably not. Um, no, right? you just kind of press down. Right. If you don't feel it, you sort of just have to know the area where generally so, is. Right. And most of the time it's going to be in the same location. And everyone's different because some people are short, some people are tall. So what are you applying right now? So we already did lead one, two, and then after two it starts to go under. Three, four... Five and the sixth one. Goes up a little bit higher right here. So what do you call that armpits. area right there that's that you're putting V6 at? Mm, like the oblique, the side. But it is what it's line? Right under the armpit. Um, line? Oh, the mid axillary. Remember those terms, those terms, mid-axillary. Mid so you have, so she has her collarbone, right? She has her left collarbone and her right collarbone. Do you remember on the videos where they were saying that you need to kind of uh, imaginary line the intercostal, mid-intercostal, then the mid-axillary? So those are your points of reference. So again, with everybody, you don't have to, in the videos they were showing how they're touching, you know, the guys. Guys are different to touch. You can touch the guys, they like it. Women, you're touching them, they feel a little uncomfortable, mm -hmm. they don't want to be touched. So with women, I just kind of like visualize where the leads might go. But placement is very important. When you do an EKG, you want to make sure that it has proper placement. Otherwise, you're going to get an EKG reading that's false. Now, what are you doing there, Sandra? 
Okay, so I'm placing them now. Um, it says it right here, right, left, left, left leg. They're all labeled. Now, are you going to put them over a bony prominence? Um, no, you should put them like, right here in the inside of the fleshy. You put them, yeah, you put them on where there's yeah. skin and there's fat. You don't put it over a bony prominence. What is, if you were to put it over a bony prominence, what would it do? What would you see on the EKG? An artifact. Artifact, correct. Artifact. Artifact. Now, which, le which leg is the ground lead? The right leg. Correct, the right leg. Everybody got that? The right leg. So now you're doing the, what are these leads called when you're doing the chest leads? Mm, augmented. What are the leads called? Recording. A little bit louder. Uh, um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so we talked about this last night, guys. You guys know. The chest unipolar But what are they called? Pre-cordial. Pre pre-cordial. Oh, okay. Those are the pre-cordial leads. Okay, so I'm going to put them Pre-cordial. Pre and the pre-cordial are... Bipolar or uni unipolar? Unipolar. Unipolar, meaning one. 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 Perfect. So I'm having a hard time only because she's wearing a bra, so she's wearing a top. But see, like, but you know, I would go under. definitely tell. Yeah, I went under with this one, but it it's because it's not staying either way. So I would, you know, obviously the patient would be Have dressed. To <clears throat> These these don't stick well. Um, we can try to use tape. Big titty problems. <laughs> <laughs> big titty problems. Ready to off the top. I'm being as small titty as big titty one. <laughs> no, you have sweaty skin problems. <laughs> Me too. This area was I'm a little bit moist. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, try to get the electrode inside the middle so you don't pinch their skin, because just like that, she pinched her skin. Her rings are going to be like... <laughs> <laughs> this is payback. This is a horrible condition. That was payback. <laughs> now, what happens if she didn't have a left arm? Well, you would put it... Um, Really I'm close sorry. to the torso, around the same area, lift the other ones. So they could right, but not even. on bone, correct? Now, what yes. if she didn't have any legs? What if she was diabetic and had both legs amputated? Put it right there at the bottom. Uh, right, at the stump. Yeah. Okay. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and get started. Just um, be still and just relax. And then we should go on the posture is fine. The legs are fine. Do you see how the leads are independent? You don't want them crossing over. Um, we talked last night about artifact, three different types of artifact. Do you guys remember? So do you remember what the three types of artifact are? One of them was wandering baseline. Waves. What does wandering baseline artifact look like? Waves. So basically your isoelectric line, mm -hmm. right, your, which is your, your foundation, it's going to kind of just be moving like a little bit up and down. It's still going to be the rhythm, but it's going to be off. In your book, there's a picture of it, and it's a really good picture of it. Um, that is what a, base, a wandering bass line is. It's still giving the rhythm, but it's, it's kind of moving. Then the other one that we talked about was somatic tremor. Remember somatic tremors? Somatic tremors, let's say that she's uh, having an EKG done and she starts shaking because she's getting cold. That's going to show more like what? Small spikes, right? So there's different types of artifacts. So when you do the EKG, if it's not her real rhythm, it's going to be artifact. And you can't turn that into the doctor and say, oh, here you go, I, I did it, because he's not going to be able to read it. So well, just know the different types of artifacts. <laughs> It, it gave a good reading at the beginning. Now she's moving around, and it's like you could see it's going uh -huh. right. That's the artifact. Yeah. So, so move, move, Emerson, and then and then print one. Okay. Move. Keep moving. Keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> Keep moving. Like move your arms up and down. But um, I'm sure it's saved. But I don't know. No, how print it. To Print on this machine is different. There's only it says copy. Okay, press that. 
I hear something pretty. Anything, anything yeah? I hear something. No. I don't really know how to work this machine. All these things I've done. So Shit, my bad. Do good. <laughs> Can you move? Cameras? Nope. Nope. There we go. <laughs> oh, we gotta put the. In we have to put our info. So put our info in, and then we can print it. I tried to print it, but I don't. Yeah, I don't. Does know. it give the option to enter the patient's data into the machine? Yeah, she yeah, it she's does. Oh God! Every time I pressed one single button, it would start. <laughs> Yeah, so these machines just remember really on your outdated. EKGs, you have, yeah, <laughs> these machines are old. The you can just put like ABC or whatever. All right, ma'am. Um, so we're all done. Always put in the patient's information. Oh. You have to put in their name, first name, last name, their age. Yeah. It might be just be because I'm just moving a little bit, but this is what a normal EKG is. Sitting still is not for me. Is she moving? Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> she moving and she drops an arm. <laughs> So another thing can't too, even that's see important it. is this remiss. If this has to go up, this has to go up. Because if I do it, like, we put this down. It's the part where she has, has to leave. To yeah, you can go. You can do it this way. Some people do it this way. Look at it. Even though y'all don't know what this but says, because I don't know better. what it says either. As long as it's oh, I just dropped an arm. So, so it doesn't matter. It looks it so matter. cool. This is the ground anyway. This one doesn't matter. This one doesn't matter, but it doesn't matter which way you put it. This way or the other way. Okay, so this here. The normal one is somewhere floating around here. Okay, it should be done. This is artifact. Stop taking my titties from me. You know why it's artifact? No, but where do you see her moving? Do you see oh, a rhythm on hurt. here? No. Do you guys see a rhythm on here? No, right? This is. This she is, got rich people, Pablo. Yeah, if you were to hand this to the doctor, where's the old one? Oh, yeah. Ow. If you were to have this to the doctor, I do got a little hair on my legs, I presume. Exactly. That hurt. If you actually have to give this, I give you the wrong one. Right? You're going to say, oh my god, I'm sorry, that's not the right one. Right? You go back and you do it the right way. <laughs> yeah, Sean, my tatas. Yes, it needs, to look, it needs to look like this because it needs to have distinguishable. Got me rhythm, naked right? and classy QRST, shit. She naked too. She don't care. Normal. Artifact. Normal. Artifact. This is bullshit. It's good shit. What time do we go back to break from break? Um, I think it's 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, like five minutes. It's been five minutes already? Mm -hmm. Jesus. I just got home right. Oh. But we have another one at 8 o'clock anyway, so. That's our 20 minute break. So, y'all, I just used me as a patient for this EKG. They had me stripped down naked. Waist up. Okay, I wasn't naked, I was in my sports bra. But it's basically naked in front of strangers. Not that I care or anything. I volunteered. But look. So basically, this is an artifact. This is bullshit. You cannot take this to a doctor and be like, here's your EKG scan. This is what you take to him. Because this one's normal. I was sitting still like a good bean. They made me move to make an example out of me to show you what an artifact was. Well, not, sh not show you guys, because you guys all don't know. But show what an artifact is. It's actually pretty cool. But it was pretty cold and my nipples were showing it. about time to go back to class so i'm gonna see y'all in a few arrhythmia is back there the the, 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 machi the machine is trying to tell you something you're just not trying to listen to the song you, know, you have time to take a pregnancy test stop playing all y'all <laughs> there's a bathroom about 10 seconds <laughs> there is a bathroom over there there's some tests in there <laughs>
You can test yourself and then you can raise your hand. Y'all want to know somewhere? I'm going to go right here, pop a squat, and listen. <laughs> listen, though, we don't, we're not trying to be exposing yourself in, in class. That's why they got the bathroom. It got doors. <laughs> People is working back there. I'm about to be working on nobody, my pregnancy test. Nobody want to see your cuda cat. I didn't sign up for this, but you know what? That's what you're going to see in the You did field. sign up for it when you was not behaving. <laughs> when you out here misbehaving, you signing yourself up for extras. Birth control. <laughs> we know you ain't on that. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now you're trying to take a nap. <laughs> you know that's a sign, right? <laughs> Sleep is a sign. <laughs> it is not the scene of night. <laughs> Sleep is a sign. You know, when you're tired. I have no cravings yet, so when I have a craving is when I'm going to take a test. <laughs> she said, yet. <laughs> that's the key word. <laughs> you said yet. The key word is yet. Look, she counted down the minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I got you. You got 46 we got, minutes. We got 45 more minutes of this shit. <laughs> she had an arrhythmia on her EKG. Now she mad. Because that's the sign of pregnancy. Hey, Jennifer, you had an arrhythmia too, huh? She was moving. I was moving too. <laughs> I'm so done. I was holding my breath. Sorry, I ignored you. <laughs> she said, sorry, I ignored you. Yeah, she actually said, I can try your tubes. And I'm just like, uh. <laughs> Listen, there's a couple of. It can't be. We got some good ones over here. Do it say sinus original? Nope. I got a nice interval. What it say on the top? Age and gender specific ECG analysis. Sinus rhythm. Okay, maybe this is messed up. What does yours say? You know, arrhythmia. No, it does. Arrhythmia? Yeah. No, they really do all say it. That's probably why she said you got to focus on the bottom one. She got luck. <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna stamp this right there. Everybody gonna think there's something wrong with them. <laughs> void. <laughs> Null and void. <laughs> Null and void. <sighs> I'm ready to go home. Case closed. Case closed. <laughs> <laughs> I am ready to go home. All right. We got like 40 minutes left to class. And then I can take my butt home. So I'm going to see y'all when I get out of class. Because I have nothing to do. And at this point, we are just sitting here. Doing nothing. We have to do an EKG to get out of class. And I did that already. So. I got one done on me, yeah. and somebody did it. And I did some one on, one on somebody else, so yeah. I'm done. And I did my homework. No, I didn't. I didn't finish my homework, but I don't have my books with me, so I can't do my homework, so it is what it is. Hello. I'm going to see y'all when I get out of class. Bye. You guys oh safe. My God. Good night. We'll see if I drive safe. I only got five minutes to go. Did she say we don't have to do that model? The, the, the chapter three? Yeah, she said if we don't have to, we don't have nowhere to turn it in, so we don't have to do it. So all we have to do is focus on the chapters, the chapters and the research project, basically. The module three in the medical terminology. She said, "Do it on whichever you choose." Okay. As long as the la the week six, the module three, we don't have to do it because we don't have nowhere to turn it in. Uh, terminology. Okay. Okay. I think I'm gonna do them right now. Just do all the chapters. Time to go home. My car didn't start. Oh, it would be smart to like switch.
my stand to make it a little shorter, right? Oh, whatever. We're a little lopsided, but here's. We're gonna leave that like that. But it's time for me to take my butt home. Oh no, we got the AC on. All right, I think you should move out of my way before you get ran over, because I'm not gonna stop. That's so rude, but it's the truth. Because I'm ready to go home. It's been a long, on the road again. All right, it's been a long day. Got y'all falling. But it's been a long day. Work. School. Thank the Lord. I do not have to work tomorrow. I don't know what sleeping in is though, so. Yeah. Y'all can't even see me. Y'all can only see me because of the car lights and stuff. That's crazy. That means the inside of my car is dark. Let's do that. I don't even think y'all can really see me. I'm trying to make it to where y'all can see me and it's not even working. That's crazy. No matter what I do. No matter what I do. I'm running over every little doom, 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 doom. What's them little things in the road? The little uh, reflectors. What's they call? I'm running over every single one of them that line on uh, the lane. That's sad. I know my remote start was not successful because I got to the car before y'all started. Got a little slower than me today. Ah! Y'all just slipping and sliding today? What is going on? Um, but I want to tell y'all, so I posted, you know, we was doing a little EKGs in class and stuff, right? So I posted, I ain't never heard this train go by before. It's my first time in my whole year and a half of living over here. I ain't never heard that train go by. That's crazy. But I posted my EKG on my Insta story, right? And my best friend got the nerve to text me like ma'am i'm like you know she called me ma'am or she called me by my full government i know i'm in trouble so then she sent me a screenshot and i was like wait a minute i'm in class and then she said that um she's like oh i didn't see the first part she was about to chew me out without paying attention to my story like, ma'am, you need to pay attention before you try to chew me out because that ain't right. Mm -mm, that's not right. Hold on, y'all. Like, I'm gonna need you to pay attention to the whole story instead of trying to, like, get on me about something I have no control over. And then she was like, oh, I saw that she was in class. Like, yeah, I was in class, ma'am. Don't try and do me. And they gonna tell me she need an EKG. I ain't giving you no EKG now. No, don't come to me for EKG after you just try to chew me out. She do need an EKG though. But that's not the point. The point is she tried to chew me out. And I was like, I didn't even do nothing this time. I was a good being. Cause I know I'm always up to something. I know, but I was a good being this time. And then she tried to chew me out for nothing. The one time, okay, not the one time. The one out of the few times I'm actually behaving and doing what I need to be doing, she tried to get on me. Mind you, my best friend is younger than me. She is three years younger than me. Like, it's unbelievable. But <clears throat> I'm about to pull up to my house. And I'm going to struggle to get inside of my house because I got to grab my backpack and stuff. I don't think I'm gonna take my textbooks in the house tonight because them things is too fucking heavy. I could take them in the house tomorrow when I get home. So, I'm gonna get inside this house, change, and 
get ready for bed. Because we got a long day tomorrow. A long day. And I got a test tomorrow. So, wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Alright, so, I brushed my teeth, washed my face lotion my face but i wanted to do a quick target haul with y'all because right now target has um bathing suits that are on clearance now i know clearance is never the easiest area to shop because you know you may not find you may find a top that's in your size but then when you try to find a matching bottom for that swimsuit the bottom is not in your size so you kind of have to just you know Pray and hope you find something. So, I want to find myself some cute bathing suits because on Saturday I am going to the beach with my adopted family. That's really my, they're really my adopted family, honestly. Um, call them my cousins. The group calls each other cousins. And um, one of them, I know you lying. How did I pay for this? And I still got the tag on there. So, did all of them got in? All of them but this bottom. That's crazy. I gotta take this to a Target tomorrow. Um, Hopefully I can take it to any Target or else I'm gonna have to wait till Friday when I go back to work. But, so I got this one. It is so cute. And it is a two-piece. So this one, this top is a medium. Because you know, the girls are kind of big. And then I got this in a medium bottom. And I'm hoping it fits. I'm just, I'm, I'm praying it fits. Because down south is really not that big. I don't got no booty like that. So, that's that one. Then I got this one. Oh my gosh. This one is so cute. And this bottom is actually a small. This one is more likely to fit. But, I mean, I can make it bigger or smaller. So, if I need to go bigger, I can go bigger. And then I got the matching top, of course. And then when I was walking out, because I was looking for some shorts, I found this cute little... What's going on here? I found this cute little plaid dress. Um, so I'm wearing that on Saturday. One of these, one of these little baby suits. Um, but of course, all of them, except one bottom, got a little security tag on there. I'm not happy. How did nothing go off when I was walking out? Basically, at least I paid for them. I'll never see right here. But yeah, so that's the end of this video. It's my medical assistant day, medical assistant student lab day. Um, I hope y'all like it. Y'all saw my crazy classmates um stuff like that so i hope you guys like this video like comment subscribe share and i'll see y'all in the next one